right, all right, all right. What is going on, YouTube peeps? I hope everybody is healthy, wealthy, and if you're a ninja, staying stealthy. We got a little video here. This is going to be more for the scale, guys. Um, I'm going to break down this video. I needed an exhaust system. This video might get a little longer. I don't know. Uh, but I'm going to go over some scale stuff with you guys that, and some air, some places to pick up some scale stuff cheap. And then I'm going to go over building a scale exhaust system in this video. Uh, if you're wanting to build a scale exhaust system for your scale truck, um, this works really well with uh, the RC four-wheel drive trucks. Uh, just a cheap way of doing it. Uh, some stuff that you're going to need. Uh, we're going to get into that in a second. But first I'm going to share the scale items. And where I've been picking up some scale stuff. It's really not. We have a Hobby Lobby. That's where I picked this stuff up from. And it's semi close. I mean it's still a 60 mile drive to the closest Hobby Lobby for me. Uh, but they've got some real good... Uh, I always try to get one 12 scale because the 12 scale stuff seems to work with the RC four wheel drive stuff uh, a lot better than most of your 110. A lot of the 110 stuff seems like it's a little big out of scale to me. So if you've got a Hobby Lobby, uh, they got some real nice stuff uh, and it's not real expensive. So <clears throat> I built my homemade steps back here uh, that worked okay, looked okay here in the scale garage but i'm needing to change up my stairs so i picked up this is mayberry street this is some dollhouse stuff uh 112 scale stairs it's a kit comes with a railing looks a lot better than my homemade one we're going to be adding on because i'm going to start i'm starting to get back working on the scale garage i need to get some stuff finished up on it and adding some other stuff and another floor above it and doing a roof over the one end and some stuff. But I wanted to start with here and get my scale steps uh, straightened up and looking a little bit better. So these are the steps I picked up. They were only like nine bucks uh, at Hobby Lobby. They're actually cheaper to go there and pick them up than to order them online with paying shipping and everything. Even Ally Express was a little more money. So I picked these up. Stuff's labeled Mayberry Street. See here says 112 scale so if you're building a scale garage for the rc four wheel drive stuff this stuff works out real nice so we got these we're going to be putting on the uh, inside the scale garage uh also another thing you can pick up and this is real metal buckets uh 112 scale uh, nice stuff to you know if you're scaling out you got a roof you know roof rack uh you're scaling out your scale rc and you need some cool stuff that's affordable dollar 49 uh, this was a lot nicer than the one I had ordered off of Amazon. That was one tenth scale, which was just too big in my opinion, uh, for my stuff. You know, if you got a TRX4 or something, then the bigger stuff's okay. But if you got, you know, the RC4 wheel drive stuff, this stuff's more fitting. So pick that up. A nice first aid kit that's metal that actually hinges opening. I got this also one twelve scale. It's got the first aid on it. It's really nice, guys. $2.49. Cheap enough. Uh, a little tea pitcher with some little glasses of tea with ice and stuff in it. You know, $4, you know, one pitcher, two glasses, one twelve scale. I just got that to use in the, in the scale garage here. And then one, uh, last but not least, a little baseball bat, catcher's mitt, and then a ball. Uh, you know, three piece sets, $1.49. Uh, Mayberry Street Miniatures also, and it's, uh, you know, it was $1.49, it's cheap enough. Uh, it's about the right size for the G.I. Joe guys because they're 6 inch and that 6 inch is around the 112 scale stuff. And they fit in the RC four wheel drive trucks and look correct. That's the stuff I wanted to share with you, the, the scale stuff. Uh, so let's get into our scale exhaust system here and what we're going to use to make it. So first self into is some safety glasses. A little cheap handsaw, hacksaw. This come from the Dollar Tree, and it was only $1.25. Some needle nose pliers. A Dremel with a cutoff wheel. 
uh, or you know you can use this to cut it too. This just will make it a little bit easier. I use a little hand drill. I picked this up off of Amazon for like nine bucks. Comes with a bunch of little drill bits or metric and then miniature drill bits and all this stuff comes in handy if you're a scale guy and you're into doing scale stuff. This hand drill works very, very nice. Um, so I'm just let's get into this, building this, this is a scale exhaust system and the something else you're gonna need real quick here is you're gonna need, I recommend using uh, 3 16 brake line and this is just some old brake line if you guys don't want to buy brake line because this is the most expensive part of it uh, just go to like probably like a local shop garage or whatever they probably have some scrap brake line this is some old brake line I had laying around off of my Jeep because Jeeps are always breaking and falling apart so we're gonna be cutting this brake line uh, you know and this is what we're gonna use 3 16 is real fitting uh, for, you know, the right size uh, for exhaust system on these RC four-wheel drive trucks. Uh, 3 16 should work for any other, you know, and you can bend this stuff real, up really easy. Uh, you can do a lot of different stuff with it. So that's the basic stuff you're going to need. 3 16 brake line, some way of cutting, some safety glasses. You always safety first. Uh, so let's get into this. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to have to drain our fluid out of our lighter. So we're messing with lighter fluid and like I said, that's why I didn't want to get um I didn't want to get into using a power drill battery or electric because we're gonna have to drain this lighter and I'm just gonna drill into the back side of this lighter uh, with my hand drill. We gotta drill up in it because we want to drain it. That's why I got this I got this uh, towel laying down here. I'm just gonna drill up inside the inside the lighter. I'm going to try to drain the fluid out of it. We're up into the metal portion of the lighter. Off camera. Uh, but you can see what I'm doing. I'm just drilling up into side the bottom of the lighter to drain it. Okay, we've punctured it. You can probably hear it leaking the pressure off. So we're just going to let that pressure bleed off this lighter. You can hear it maybe in the camera. So we're going to lay it down here and just let the pressure. You can see the gas coming out of it right now. Move that out of the way. You can see the, the gas coming out of your lighter. You're just going to let that drain out real nice and easy. That's why I didn't want to use any electric or battery stuff or cause any sparks. Uh, this is the safest way to do it. You can see it draining out maybe on the camera. So we're going to shut the camera off. You can see the wet spot forming under the lighter. We're going to shut the camera off and let that drain. Okay, so we got our lighter. It's basically all drained. You can see where here the butane came out of it, got cold. Uh... So you just want to drain your lighter out, make sure it's completely empty, nothing in it, nothing in it, there's nothing in your lighter. And what we're going to do is you're going to have to figure out how, what kind of size that you want uh, for your, for your muffler. So I usually tend to cut it. We're going to cut this just about three quarters up on the lighter. You know, every, a muffler, there's thousands of different options. You know, you don't got to be perfect spot on. This is just a perfect form for like an old turbo muffler on like the old old trucks and stuff had. Uh, I got videos where I made glass pack mufflers using a pin. The glass pack muffler has been moved over to my extra cab. So <clears throat> we're going to mark for our muffler size with a piece of tape so I'm gonna shut the I'm just gonna use some you know painters tape here and we're gonna size our muffler where we want to cut it here so I'm gonna come down here to the muff to the this this tapes about gonna be about the right size for the muffler and we're just gonna wrap this lighter to the size of the muffler that where we want to cut it was gonna end up being a little big for me you want to make sure you try to get it as straight as you can Leave yourself a little extra. And you can always grind this down. That might be a little small. So, there we go. Because this is the end that we're going to use for the actual muffler down here. So, just like that right there. And we're going to cut right here on this line on, your, on the lighter. So... Now, like I said, you can use a hacksaw 
and just hand saw through this if you want to get you a line started. Just like that right there, back and forth to get it started. So, the hacksaw is going to give you a cleaner cut than using your Dremel. Uh, but I'm going to cut up a, and then kind of smooth it up. So, I am going to use the Dremel. So, I'm not going to video using the Dremel. There's no sense in that. It's a simple just cut through. Okay, you went in, cut off here. I ran into it with a little too much of a speed. So, we're going to use the hacksaw now to keep a little bit cut through it. Once you get that started, the hacksaw will just cut like through this. Make sure you're staying on the line as close as you can get. Just like that, guys, on the screw on the other side. So I'm going to come here to keep the line clean. I'm going to take this little bit off your hacksaw. I need to get some more blade for this small saw. All right. So we got it cut. You just pull your tape off. Just like this right here. And you got the starter for your muffler. Now you're going to have to get a piece of sandpaper or whatever you want to use here to clean this mess up. Uh, so I'm just going to shave this thing down uh, right here with this edge right here with a sanding wheel on my Dremel to clean it up. So we're going to do that and we'll be right back. Okay, so there we go. That's good enough. And you're going to have to have some silver paint or whatever you're using to paint this with. Uh, but what we're going to do is this end right here, we're going to have to drill that open a little more because you're going to want to get your uh, whatever, you know, your 3 16 brake line you're using for your tailpipe. This is some bent up brake line. Uh, so I'm going to have to bend it around. I'm going to try to get it back as straight as I can get it here. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. This is what I had to needle nose pliers for. <clears throat> so, what we're going to do is I'm going to leave myself plenty of extra brake line sticking out. So, we're going to have to drill into our muffler here. And we're going to make this the exit in the center coming out here on our tailpipe. Now, if you'll see here, there's a support in the middle of this lighter, and it has the split mount in the middle. So this is really nice. You can, if you have to run your entrance pipe on this side or this side, so you can just pump this thing full of hot melt glue and just run your tailpipe, or not your tailpipe, your head pipe into whatever side of the muffler it needs to be. You want to check and see on whatever truck you're putting it on that you have plenty of room to mount that stuff. Uh, but we will go over that too. But we're going to drill this out and get ready to mount our tailpipe. All right, so for this one, I am going to use the electric drill. Going to find our close to matching drill bit here. You want to go a little bit smaller. We'll get a little bit smaller here. Drill this out. This is nice and easy. Just like that right there. All right, yeah, a little bit bigger one. Let's get our next size a little bit. Just like that. That was an 11 16th. Go up to the next size. You're not going to be gluing this all together. Bond it together, whatever, JD, whatever you want to use. It doesn't matter. Just glue. Probably think we'll do it. So we're going to drill a little bit bigger here. Make sure you have it really chucked up good. There we go. Okay, so. Yeah, do it to the next size. Try to make sure I keep it tight to hold it. Yeah, we're going to have to. We're just going to take this drill bit and we're going to wallow it out a little bit. See if that'll get it right there. There we go. Because you want it as tight fitting as you can get it. So there we go. We're up inside where we needed to be. Now I'm gonna use this end of it. All right. So running this one in at this angle. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna start pumping this thing full of hot melt glue. Okay, 
this is what you're going to do. You want to pump it full of hot melt glue down in here because you're hitting the, the stop on that support we drilled up into. So we're going to glue that with hot melt glue down inside there. Whatever you want to use. Super glue, hot melt glue. So that's what we're going to do now. So what I'm doing first here is I'm just dripping some of this fast grot drying super glue down inside of here to hold this. Just cheap super glue from Dollar Tree. And what's nice about this super glue, gel works even better and it's already starting to set up. You can kind of make a rust ring around here if you want to make a rusty exhaust system if you use the gel super glue. That gel super glue works really well, but we're just using the regular super glue uh, for right now. Okay, so that's what we're doing here. I'm going to let this set up. Then you just take your hot melt glue gun and just start pumping hot melt glue down here into this end, and then it'll fill your muffler and it'll hold your pipe in there where you where you want it. So that's what we got. You can see right here what we're going for. Scale exhaust system. Like I said, this is going to be painted silver and you can detail it up. This is going to be, tail, I'm going to figure out on the truck, it's going on the TF3. I'm going to figure out the bend where I want the muffler to hang. And then you can just take this and manipulate it, bend it around, cut it. Uh, and then we'll be making our head pipe come out. It's not going to go all the way up because it doesn't have to go all the way to the engine compartment. However you want to do it. Uh, but this is how I'm, I make a lot of scale mufflers, and it's cheap. It's a cheap way to do it. Um, so we're going to let this super glue set up really, really good before we add the super glue. And before we add the hot melt glue. All right, so we got our angle with a dangle. I flipped the truck over. And we're going to hang the muffler to where it's not hitting anything. That's why I left, you want to leave extra of the brake line. And we're just going to mount it right up into here. Is how she's going to be mounted up. There is our hot melt glue that I have put down inside the muffler here. You can add it to that hole or that hole. It don't matter. Uh, it does work better if you put the hot melt glue down inside here and push your pipe back through with that super glue on it. And we're going to figure out you want to leave plenty for doing like an exhaust hanger or... You know, this truck's kind of a beat up looking truck. Make sure that your suspension can cycle through everything and not hit anything. Uh, so that's what I'm doing here. And this is about where the muffler would be hung on a normal pickup right here. So I'm going to take a piece of tape and I'm going to mark this, wrap it around here to where I need to cut that. So we have our muffler and our tailpipe made. But first, we're going to come in here and we're going to start filling this up with our hot melt glue down here. Not all the way because you've got to add another piece of pipe. All right, it's just as simple as that, pumping this thing full of your hot melt glue. And a high temp hot melt glue gun works a lot better uh, than what I'm using here. But this will hold this nice and tight. It's not going to go anywhere. It's going to be solid, guys. So, right about into here to hide our muffler. I like to be able to see it for the scale videos and stuff of that nature. So, and we're going to bend that back out just a little bit more. Try not to get super glue all over you like I do. But, uh, and that'll leave us plenty to make hangers and all that good stuff, too. Um, yeah, that ought to work pretty well, actually. So, we're going to go ahead and put some tape on this end. And mark it. Just some cheap painter's tape. Where we're going to put this. So, it's going to be mounted right about there. So, we want to cut off about right there. And leave us a little more to play with there so you can cut it with your dremel or your hacksaw doesn't matter um and i'm exiting on the driver's side i do believe these toyotas may have exited on the driver's side not 100 percent for sure on that but 
Um, and then you can just bend this around as you gotta change stuff. So we're just gonna hacksaw this right off to there, okay? So I'm not gonna video that. All right, so basically you got your muffler and your tailpipe. This is the truck. And we're gonna make mounts and everything in this video and I'm gonna show you guys the mounts and stuff. So it's gonna be hung right about into there where you can kind of still make the muffler out and then your tailpipe exit and I'll be bending, you know, doing some bends and stuff around on the tailpipe and everything. It's easier to have the truck flipped upside down here and you can just run your figure out. You wanna make sure you leave yourself enough to make a mounting system of some kind. Uh, we're gonna be hooking this in, the, the hanger here probably into our rear bumper mount uh, and then you can just manipulate and move it around as you want to manipulate it and move it around. And you can just clean up your cuts and stuff with your Dremel and, uh, or sandpaper or whatever. And then I usually take a drill bit and I drill up into the end of this to make an actual, like it looks like a, a tailpipe, uh, which we'll be doing that too. But I want to figure out where I want it to be hung at here a hundred percent first. So we're not going to get into any of our stuff here. Our leaf springs and our suspension is going to cycle like it's supposed to. Nothing's going to hit there. So we're going to have to hang it out a little closer. It's going to have to be hung right about into there. In order for it to be about, you know, scale accurate. So. Yeah, that should work out pretty well. So. I just measured out this piece of 3 16 brake line that's going to go in our other side of our uh, exhaust system here, either end, it doesn't matter, you can go in either end. And I just took the hacksaw and scored it and you can just break it right off. And what we're going to do is we're going to lay everything up here, see about where we're going to get it exiting out. I actually cut that probably a little long. I'm going to come up here and leave it longer. And it's going to lay in my skid plate and help hold it tight. Um, so, let's see here. We're going to have to be in this side of the exhaust system. That way you have a, you know, it looks like a full, close to a full exhaust system. So, this is what we're going to get here. Yeah, this will work good on this side where we need to be and it'll keep us away from our spring hangers and all that stuff and it gives us room to go back and forth so it's just simple guys you can come in here and let me see here we might work better on this side let's see Gives us a little more room to play. It might actually work better on that side. Or look better. It looks a little better on this one. So, yeah. That'll actually work out pretty nice. Gets us all away from everything. And we're just going to fill this up with hot melt glue. I'm going to get it remelted here. My hot melt glue gun. I, ha I have a battery one. I'm going to soften up the hot melt glue that's already in here. Push it down in. Get it good and hot. And start pumping this up with hot melt glue. Okay. Just like that. And we're going to go in here. Going to run it where we're going to want to mount it. And we're just going to hold it there until the hot melt glue starts hardening up. So you want to you wanna have the truck ready too when you're doing it this way. And this is what we're going to do. And we're just going to hold it there while the hot melt glue starts hardening up. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Nice and a full scale exhaust system. And we're going to do the painting of the exhaust and everything in this video. That's about where I want it hung so I'm not ripping it off on everything. Yeah. Takes a little while for hot melt glue to start hardening up. Don't knock it around when you're pulling it out. And we got the beginnings of a scale exhaust system, guys. 
So I can go back in here. Since we're not, um, what I'm going to do is we're going to start cleaning this up. And I just use the hot melt glue gun to kind of score, not score, but anyhow, smooth out the hot melt glue a little bit. And then we're going to pump this other side full of hot melt glue so it's solid. And don't be like me, have another glue stick ready to go. So, And it might look kind of crappy right now, but we're going to clean it up, make it look better, make it look like there's some welds and stuff on this. So this is a good start, though. Okay? And I have to sand this because this has the coating on it, so I have to sand the coating off of it and everything. But uh, I'm going to have to grab another glue stick. But you can see... The basic starts. And this is solid, guys. You can trail with this. It won't fall apart on you. Okay. And I'll just start pulling some of the hot melt glue off of it. So basically, there's your exhaust system. Like, you know, kind of mimics a good exhaust system off of an old beat-up pickup. Uh, yeah. Gonna work out about right right there where I want it and we're gonna make spring hangers and everything in this video and you can see the truck you can see the muffler you're gonna be able to see the tailpipe up there in it there's the tailpipe I have to clean it up and make it look a little bit better and it's gonna be you know hanging down you'll be able to see your gloss system underneath of it there where your muffler's at So let's grab another hot melt glue stick. So we grabbed another hot melt glue stick and we're just gonna continue to just need it a little bit more in there. You wanna give yourself enough extra, okay? Because you, you wanna build it up because you're gonna have to mold this. And I'm gonna go over that too. When you paint all this, it's gonna look right, trust me. And this is a cheap true scale exhaust system. Don't burn yourself with the hot melt glue. Uh, got that build up pretty good. All right, just like that right there. All right. I think I'm going to have to do a part one and two on the video because it's, if not, the video is going to end up being so long. So that's what we got so far. This is part one of the start of your scale exhaust system. So let that hot melt glue run around, try to get it a little smoother because you want to create an end cap here, similar to what this is to where you can modify because you're going to be coming in here after this hot melt glue is uh, all dried up. What, you, what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna we're gonna smooth all this up and you're gonna take your a piece of sandpaper and you're gonna mold this and make like a contoured end like this end with this with sandpaper and a dremel but there's your first part and I will get this posted up uh, and you guys can make this stuff you know however you want to make it uh, and then part two, I'll probably do three parts, finishing painting and all that detailing and all that stuff. So, uh, I will be doing a complete, the, like a series of the exhaust, but this is what it looks like on the truck. I think the camera pick it up here. So our exhaust will be up into here and it'd be hung like a real exhaust system on a truck would be, and we're going to make tailpipe hangers and all that stuff. So... There's what it looks like there. That's what we got so far. And then you'll be able to move this around wherever you want to put it. Uh, but this is what this truck was the last thing it was waiting to get it back on the trail was an scale exhaust system on it. So that's what we got so far, guys. I will work on part two and part three through the week and get them posted up for anybody that wants to follow this from the RC Dungeon. As always, peace.